Social media has made a strong impact in our generation. Our private lives have never been more public than they were before. With WC Yaksnap, Whittier College students have been able to post their daily lives. However, some pictures have not been pleasing to the eye. WC Yaksnap is a Snapchat account where students can send in pictures or videos that not only Whittier College students can see, but others in the area as well. There has been videos and pictures of students just doing normal day-to-day -day activities, but there has also been videos and pictures of pornography as well as people doing drugs. QCTV asked the student body how they feel about this Snapchat account and how they feel it has affected our school. Oh, I think like people are just messing around and they don't really understand what they're doing. And then like I think a lot of it comes from people just around the campus too. I mean I think it makes us look bad. I know an admin who's like who has to go through it all and it's just really awkward. Um, and I know like a lot of people put up like drugs and stuff like that. So it's I don't like it. Um, the pictures are a little explicit sometimes. Um, I haven't said anything, but uh, like I think I don't know. I I don't really I don't really think it's good for the college because I mean, you know, people can post stuff that others don't want like others to see. Feel people people feel safe about posting those just because they like no one knows who posted it or no one knows they posted it. Um, I feel like the campus is um, better than that. It's more safe than that. Um, you don't see a lot of that around campus. I mean, you know, there's a lot of good people here and stuff, and, you know, they respect each other. Well, I think that most of the people that send them in are just normal people. I think everyone that I know has probably sent something in. Um, whether it's inappropriate or not, it's usually just like normal pictures. Um, and I think that a lot of the people that are like, posting inappropriate things are people that don't go to this school. Um, so I, I just think that it's mostly just people that are like in the area that live in Whittier and stuff like that. I think that the whole idea like should be taken really lightly and casually because I've seen um, other versions of like other colleges version of this and usually it's like bigger schools and it doesn't really make too much of an impact. And I don't think that the overall impact of the Snapchat would be negative. And I, I don't think that there really should be that much intervention in it. Um, just because I don't really think that it should be the school's priority. So how often do you go on it? Um, I probably check it every day, you know, just to see what's up. I've only had it for a couple of days, but um, I see my friends on it all the time. And I want to see if I'm on it because that's been the case before I've like seen myself like in videos and stuff so that's mostly what it is like just me wanting to know if I've been put on it without my consent. We also sat down with Assistant Dean of Students Elizabeth Schock about the importance of consent and how administration can help if any students feel threatened by this account. Um, I mean, there were things on it that were fine, that were just like people snapping, they were in the library studying, or here's a cute picture of like a sunset or something like that. But the things that were inappropriate that I did see, you know, I'm always a little disappointed, although it doesn't bother me. It also, it mostly worries me that first of all, if students are taking videos or photos of people that are sexually explicit without asking them, without getting their consent to do so, that's my biggest concern. And then my second biggest concern is people that are posting things like that um, and not thinking through whether or not someone could take a screenshot and then post it to the greater public. Mm -hmm. um, so not thinking about what could possibly be the ramifications of doing something like that. If you take a sexually explicit photo of anyone, first of all, you have to have consent to take that photo, and then you have to have consent to post that photo. It has to be explicit. So specifically with a photo, you know, typically you're going to actually ask with words whether or not that's something that someone wants to do. Um, it's important because if someone didn't ask for consent, it could be not only a violation of that person's rights and really difficult for them to have something explicit posted without them knowing about it, but it's also a violation of our policy and a violation of the law. So there are two, you know, in addition to hoping that students would just be good people and want to get someone's consent if they're going to post something that's really personal and private, 
you should also, or students should also know that they could get in trouble for doing something like that. Um, and that we want to protect our students from having that done to them. Well, the consequences would obviously be if someone did report it to us, which we welcome them, them to report it, um, it would be a violation of our policy. And if we found them responsible for posting without someone's consent, um, then it could there could be sanctions. It could range anywhere from probation up to suspension or even expulsion, depending on the severity of the situation. If you're concerned or you feel unsafe, come talk to me and we can talk it through. As of today, there has been rumors that the WC Yak Snap is no longer available, but that's for you to find out. This has been Natalie Mungia with QCTV News. Thanks for watching.